Now that you've visited Umpachin Falls Park, we're going to take the Clayton Mill River Road south. So this is how it goes. We're going to keep going here south. And there's some beautiful things to see here all the way through farmland. And you're going to come out here to an intersection. And you're going to want to stay here and you want to stay on Clayton Mill River Road and keep going. And it goes for a while. And then you're going to come out to the Canaan Southfield Road. Okay. So now we're going to head back into Connecticut. So you're going to stay on here. And we're going to come to this intersection. And this is Old Turnpike Road. So this is the road we're going to take. We're going to go back over the river. And we're going to follow this all the way down. until we get to the Canaan Valley Road, which you're going to take a right, which is south. And this is going to bring you right back out to Route 44. And we are going to head west, which is a right, and just past the post office and the North Canaan Congregational Church. You'll see on your left, it's like a V. Can't miss it. You want to go here, and this is where we're going to the Beckley iron furnace. So you're going to want to take a left here and we're going to go right here and here it is the Beckley Iron Furnace Park. Um, this is uh, pretty awesome. Check out the video and after this we're going to head to Canaan. So I'm here at the Beckley Iron Furnace. Uh, so there's quite a bit to see here. They have a small museum and they have some of the things like the turbines they use and you see the dam behind me so that they use the water power. So they also ran a sawmill here and the iron furnace. So there's quite a bit going on right here in East Canaan. And uh, it's a great place to stop. I'll show you the other side. There's uh, more of a picnic area on the other side. A couple things here. There's not too much park in here, but there is a parking lot below where I am right now. So. Come out and get some history, you know, take a nice ride. It's uh, everywhere here from New Marlboro to here. It's absolutely beautiful. You're riding and you can see the mountains in the background. You're riding through the valleys and see plenty of farms and old houses and all kinds of things. So let me show you the other side. I'll just pan over here and show you the, uh, the top of the furnace and uh, then I'll show you the bottom. Uh, you can see behind me, this is the top of the iron furnace and on the other side of the street there's actually an embankment built so that they could build a bridge across the road so they could dump the limestone iron ore and the charcoal in here and produce the pig iron and that's where the, that's that's where steel comes from so this was a big uh, steel you know iron producing area until the Pittsburgh region took over in Pennsylvania so we were, have produced some of the best steel around. So you can see uh, there, there's more to see here. And I'll show you the other side. And then we're going to go on to uh, Canaan. Now that we're at the other side, you can see how enormous this uh, iron furnace really is and how much it really took to build this. This was all built by hand. There was no power tools here, no power lifts. Everything was done by hand or by oxen, you know, or that kind of power to make this happen. So you can see it's uh, it's very nice. It's restored, and how high up it they had to build the road, you know, to actually get the uh, iron ore and charcoal and limestone in here. So hope you're liking this series. Please let me know in your comments. Uh, it's like a beautiful ride out here, and there's many more roads than are on just what I'm showing you here. There's quite a bit to see in this area. You know, if you wanted to come and stay out here in Canaan. There's all the roads from all around here and 25 miles from here. It's just absolutely unbelievable and beautiful motorcycle riding. And you don't even have to take your motorcycle. You can come here with your SUV, your car, bring the whole family, show them, show them some history of Connecticut and show them some beautiful spots and just, uh, you know, enjoy it. Okay, on to Canaan.